Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about synthetic motor oils, but more specifically Mobile One Annual Protection, who I'm very thankful for for sponsoring this video and shedding an educational light into the mysterious world of motor oil. Mobile One Annual Protection is an oil that's designed to last for a full year, or 20,000 miles. You can find it at your local advanced auto parts, and it's available in 0W20, 5W20, and 5W30 viscosity grades. Now, a motor oil that lasts 20,000 miles is an exciting idea, because it means you can certainly save yourself some time on maintenance. But it also brings up a natural curiosity, so in this video we're going to be answering three major questions. First, very quickly, what defines a synthetic oil? Second, what makes synthetic oils better than conventional oils? And finally, why are the engineers that designed Mobile One Annual Protection confident that it will last 20,000 miles? So in that section we'll get into some interesting test results about the product itself. So our first question, what defines a synthetic oil? Now motor oils are made up of primarily a base oil and then an additive package. And it's that base oil which defines whether it's conventional or synthetic. And now base oils are divided up into five different groups. Groups 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now groups 1 through 3 are derived from crude oil. They're derived from organic material versus 4 and 5. Uh, 4 is made of polyalpha olefins, uh, which are a synthetic product, and then 5 is absolutely everything else. Now conventional motor oils are restricted to groups 1 and 2 versus synthetic motor oils are groups 3, 4, and 5. Now you'll notice 2 and 3 have a little crossover and the reason being is there's enough of a chemical difference in refinement in group 3 base oils that they're different enough from group 2 to be considered synthetic motor oils. Moving on to our second question, what makes synthetic oil better than conventional oil? And AAA recently published a cool study where they took five different brands and they took a 5W20 synthetic and conventional oil from each of those brands and performed eight different ASTM tests, American Society for Testing and Materials. And what they found is through these eight tests, synthetic oils performed 47% better than conventional oils. So this is pretty cool um, and a pretty Pretty huge improvement. And so we're going to talk about four of the major differences uh, that provide that advantage to synthetic oil. Now the first topic we're going to talk about is shear stability. And conventional oils use a decent amount of viscosity improvers to improve the thickness of that oil at higher temperatures. So these viscosity improvers expand out at higher temperatures and that allows you to keep a nice thick boundary layer between uh, moving metal parts so that there's no damage and no wear. Now these viscosity improvers can shear and kind of break off into smaller molecules and so this starts to thin out the oil. And because conventional oils will use more of this uh, because they don't have the inherent properties like the synthetic oils have from a start, uh, these viscosity improvers break down over time and as a result the oil will thin out at higher temperatures and it won't be able to give you that perfect uh, protective layer as it thins out you'll have more metal to metal contact and hence more wear. Our second topic is cold temperature pumpability. This is basically how well the oil flows at low temperatures. And it's important in super cold climates uh, where you start your car, you know, let's say it's minus 20 degrees C outside, you wanna make sure that that engine oil flows immediately so you're not starving the engine of oil and you protect it from wear. Now conventional oils here, even if they have the same viscosity rating, 5W20 versus 5W20 for example, will still perform worse once you start dropping into much lower temperatures. So th synthetic oils, you'll notice here in this little graph here just to kind of demonstrate the idea, at the same viscosity rating the synthetic oil is at a much lower temperature. Uh, so they're able to maintain their properties, uh, maintain that flow at lower temperatures, so for cold startups uh, it's a good idea to use synthetic synthetic motor oils. Moving on to volatility, this is basically how easily can this oil evaporate. And so synthetics have well-organized, well-grouped molecules versus conventional oils are a bit more random. There's a bit more variation in the size of the molecules. And as a result, these low weight molecules can evaporate off, burn off in the engine. And as a result of that, you're going to have a thicker oil. Now that thicker oil means you won't have the flow characteristics of the, you know, the original oil. And as a result, you know, less flow means you're not getting oil where you need to be getting it and you could have more wear. 
And finally, we get to oxidation viscosity changes. And this is basically how does the oil deal with time, with heat, with pressure, and with exposure to air. And basically what happens here is conventional oils are going to change more with time, with that exposure and from oxidation breaking down the oil. So you'll notice, you know, with time looking at a temperature versus viscosity plot, at that higher temperature end, you'll see that viscosity getting pushed out, uh, partially as a result of the volatility of conventional oils uh, being higher and more of those smaller molecules burning off, but also as a result of the oxidation, whereas synthetic oils will maintain their original properties longer, and as a result, you'll have better protection. So, you know, they're thin when they need to be thin at colder temperatures, and they're thicker to maintain that film thickness uh, to prevent wear at those higher temperatures, but not too thick to prevent flow. Now let's get into how ExxonMobil tested Mobile One annual protection. And one of the really cool tests that they did is they put 120,000 miles on three different vehicles. And so each of these vehicles uh, was changing the oil only five times for those 120,000 miles at 20,000 mile intervals. So these three vehicles, they were all turbocharged. All of them also have direct injection, Chevy Malibu 2.0 turbo, Lexus NX 200T 2.0 turbo, and the Ford Fusion 1.5 liter turbo. And so they ran these tests. Uh, we'll get into a little bit about the wear protection on those tests. Another test they ran is breakdown resistance. And basically, as I was mentioning previously, you know, conventional oils uh, will break down more quickly than synthetic oils. Mobile One Annual Protection was trying to develop the formula to push that boundary even further of synthetic oils. So they were testing themselves against other synthetic oils out there and, you know, were figuring out a way in order to push their breakdown resistance even further, maintain those original viscosity properties even longer so that the oil could last for something like a 20,000 mile or a one year oil change interval. So they were able to maintain that original viscosity. Um, another thing you have to be able to do is account for deposits and sludge. Even if you can maintain uh, the viscosity, if you start to have deposits form on you know, layers where you're gonna have metal to metal contact, that means you won't be able to have that flow. So the oil could be thin enough to flow through, uh, but it may be impeded uh, by you know, deposits and sludge. And so they've got some cool images uh, of these vehicles actually, which they tested, uh, where they show, you know, they didn't really have deposit formation, they didn't have sludge as an issue with these 20,000 mile intervals. So also cool to see. Uh, but one of the neatest things was the wear prevention. And so they tore down these engines at 120,000 miles uh, and they maintained proper flow and film thickness for those 120,000 miles. And the way they knew that was by looking at these parts and measuring them uh, for their manufacturing tolerances and many of these were actually within spec uh, for you know brand new parts so it was like you know basically nowhere had occurred uh, they got some pictures of the crankshaft bearings uh, from the Lexus NX 200T after the 120,000 miles on their website which you can check out kind of cool to see now it's important to remember that when you're looking at these metal on metal contact surfaces, uh, it's not this smooth interaction. At a microscopic level, it's actually pretty rough and you need to maintain that film thickness and proper flow in order to prevent wear and that's what they've been able to do. Now, just because you can go a year or 20,000 miles between oil changes doesn't mean you can ignore other maintenance. Be sure to follow your regular maintenance intervals and if your car is still under warranty, abide by the specific warranty requirements. Once again, a huge thank you to Mobile One Annual Protection for sponsoring this video. As mentioned, you can find it at your local Advanced Auto Parts. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.